my name is Stephen Holm and I'm with Home Grounds, a place for you to go to learn more about brewing and enjoying better quality coffee right at home. If coffee interests you at all, make sure you subscribe and like this video so you don't miss out on future videos just like this. So today we are looking at this beautiful espresso machine, the Sorella. The Sorella is a collaboration between Chris's Coffee and Quick Mill. And right up front, I do want to say that Chris's Coffee did send me this machine just to review and take a look at. I am not keeping it and they are not paying me for this review, but they did send it to me and loan it to me. So thank you so much to Chris's Coffee if you're in need of any coffee equipment, whether it be espresso or filter coffee or commercial or just for your home. They have everything you could ever need and they have fantastic customer service. They will help you out with whatever you need. So first off, thank you so much to Chris's Coffee. Now a quick backstory behind this machine and the companies that made it. So Chris's Coffee was founded in 1978 by Chris Nocktrieb and now it is co-owned by both him, his wife, and their daughters, Mackenzie and Taylor. Now Mackenzie and Taylor not only are best friends but are now co-owners of the company and they decided hey, let's make a machine that represents us and what we want in an espresso machine. And hence we come with the Sorella, which is Italian for sister. And they decided to make this machine in collaboration with Quick Mill. Quick Mill is a well-known manufacturer of espresso machines and grinders. They're based out of Italy and they've been doing all of this since 1945. They're really well known for their build quality and their durability and just, they make beautiful and well-designed espresso machines that are very popular. So these two companies, Chris's Coffee and Quick Mill, have come together to build a machine that is both beautiful in Italian craftsmanship, but with modern connectivity and functionality, and hence we get the Sorella. Chris's Coffee is currently taking pre-orders for this machine. They are currently being shipped over from Italy, estimated to arrive mid-September, so they should be shipping out not long after that. So today we're mostly going to be talking about all of the features on this machine, what makes it so special, what we love about it at home grounds, maybe a couple things that we would change, but I'll say right in the start, I love this espresso machine. There's not many big things I would change at all. There's just maybe a couple little things that wouldn't deter me from buying it. So let's start by going on the specs, looking at the inside and working our way out. So this is a dual boiler machine, meaning we have separate boilers for brewing and steaming. We have a two liter stainless steel steam boiler. That's kind of hard to say. Stainless steel, steel, stainless steel steam, stainless steel st steam boiler. There is a 0.75 liter stainless steel coffee boiler. And both of those have dedicated pressure gauges right up front so you can see what the pressures are at, as well as being shown the temperatures on the PID display that we'll see in a bit. There's a really compact rotary pump inside the machine that is both really quiet but also provides ample room for you to do service on the machine, things like adjust the OPV or whatever else you may want to do inside of there. We have an all stainless steel frame and body. It looks beautiful. Sure, it does show some fingerprints, but they are easy to wipe off and it just looks gorgeous on a countertop. Looking on the front here, we have an E61 style group head, which I've just realized I have the wrong port filter inserted in there. We have an E61 style group head here with a passive pre-infusion, meaning that if you lift this handle here, water will start flowing out, but without any pressure. And then finally you can bump it all the way up to begin your nine bars of pressure. Down here we have a PID that doubles as a shot counter and also displays the temperature of both the brew boiler and the steam boiler anytime that you are not running the machine. Down here we have a large capacity one and a half liter drip tray, which also has plumbing capabilities so you can run it to a separate bucket or sink or outside wherever you want to drain. We have no burn steam and hot water wands that are both activated by these joysticks, which is another thing to look at. This machine comes pre-installed with these beautiful wooden accents on the joysticks the portafilter handle and on the lever arm down here. If we look at the machine from the side over here, you can see that we actually have a side loading water tank, which is a big feature that they were really excited about. It's great if you have limited space above the machine that you don't wanna to have to be pouring water in from the top. You can pour it from the side or remove this tank altogether and fill it and then just reinsert it. That's a really nice feature. And like I said, you are also able to fill it from the top. So we would just remove this top cup warming tray and you have access to the water tank in the back. 
Now, as far as accessories that come with the machine, like I said, we have the double spouted porta filter up here. There's also a matching bottomless porta filter, which is a great touch. Usually you have to buy those aftermarket, which is what I had in here earlier because they didn't quite have a bottomless porta filter ready to send me, but it will come standard with the machine along with a matching beautifully made little quick mill wooden handled tamper. And then it also comes with double, triple, and blank baskets for your porta filters. Now at this point, you may have noticed that, hey, there's a PID down here, but I don't see any buttons, any way to adjust anything. But don't fear because this machine has a app of sorts. You see, this machine has Wi-Fi connectivity. So it connects to your phone via a separate Wi-Fi signal that you can then open a web page and adjust a lot of things with this machine. Now in this app, you have a lot of control options. You can do your basic things like adjust the Fahrenheit or Celsius or your time settings, but also you can adjust your brew and your steam temperatures individually. You have a seven day programmable timer. So for example, I could go and set it to automatically turn on Monday morning at 7 a.m. and shut off at 5 p.m. And then along with that, we have adjustable eco modes. So not only can we just say, turn off the steam boiler altogether if we know we're not gonna be steaming any milk beverages, but you can also set it to automatically shut off or turn on to a sort of standby eco mode after a certain amount of time. And all of that is right from your phone, which is a really great touch. And you get all of that in the Sorella for a price of $3,295, which is definitely not a beginner's espresso machine, but for everything you're getting for all of these features, it is a great price. So let's talk about the things that we at Home Grounds love about the Sorella. And first off, and probably most importantly, is that it brews great espresso. I always say that a great espresso machine should not stand in the way of the quality of espresso that you're able to get out of it. It should just be a vessel that you can adjust and you can do small little tweaks here and there, but really it just comes down to your coffee, the preparation, and brewing it into a little delicious cup of espresso. And this machine has everything you could ever need to really dial in and maximize the potential of your espresso. If we're getting super picky, I could complain that it doesn't come with a flow control device on here, but since this is an E61 group head, you are able to add one afterwards. And Chris's Coffee actually offers a flow control device that you can order with this machine for 50% off if you order it at the same time. And so that's a great deal if you want that. But even without it, you're getting things like adjustability for temperature and pressure and you can do a passive pre-infusion. I really don't think there's many things standing in the way with this machine for you to get delicious espresso. The second thing we love is this side loading water tank. And it's something that I never really looked at a whole lot with espresso machines. You know, I have the Lalit Mara X for myself and that has a top loading reservoir that you have to remove from the back and fill up versus this, I can just pull it out slightly and dump water in there, or I can take this out completely and fill it up from my filter. I think that's a great feature and something that a lot of people may overlook, but it's really great if you're tight on space and say you're putting this under a cabinet or something and you don't really have access to the top, having this on the side can be a real game changer so you don't have to pull the machine out every time you wanna fill the water tank. The next thing we love about the Sorella is the included app. It's a great way in order to adjust all these parameters in the machine and set up the seven day programmable timer, which has been a great feature for me. I can just set it and don't have to worry about turning the machine on and off. And being able to do all of that from my phone versus from a finicky screen on the machine is a really great feature. Now, since it does work through Wi-Fi versus say a Bluetooth app or something like that, you do have to physically go in and connect to the network of the machine anytime that you want to adjust any of those parameters. But I don't think that's a big deal because I'm not constantly having to go in and adjust the brew temperature. It's just something I'll have to do every once in a while. It's not a big deal and I think it's worth it for what you're getting with that app. Finally, the last thing that we love about this machine is its looks. It just looks beautiful. The included wooden accents are a great touch and something that you usually have to pay a lot extra for with these types of machines. That along with these knockout black pressure gauges, the minimalist PID, it just all looks really nice. It's not overly crowded with all these different buttons and things here and there. It's a really nice combination of looking simple and elegant 
and really well built along with having all of these in-depth features in order to get great quality espresso. And on top of all that, it's built incredibly well. You can tell that this thing is built like a tank. It is going to last forever. Quick Mill is known for building really highly durable espresso machines, and I would have no worries about anything happening to this machine in quite a long time. So finally, who do we think this espresso machine is for? Well, I really think it's for anyone who obviously has the budget to spend this much on an espresso machine. If you are just getting started and you only have a few hundred dollars, this is obviously not even on the table. But if you're looking for a really high quality dual boiler espresso machine that is going to last a long time and has everything you could ever need to dial in the perfect espresso, I think this is the perfect machine for you. And on top of that, it has all these little extra features that you wouldn't necessarily get in other machines, like the wooden accents, the side-loading water tank, and just the overall looks of this beautiful machine. So that is the Quick Mill Sorella. Thanks again so much to Chris's Coffee for lending this machine to me. It's been a joy to use and something that I honestly do highly recommend to many people. If you have any further questions or comments or anything, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy brewing.